Mom is trying to drag a thousand pounds. She's not succeeding, but she's not getting hurt. When the resistance comes from the ground, we have a fundamentally safer exercise than lifting weights. As you get in the flow with doing a sled, it actually turns into a cardio exercise. And as you go back with the sled, it turns into a really powerful knee healing exercise. So while it may sound crazy, we think healthcare facilities should have sleds and turf. You have a modern problem as well of being overweight. Well, with a sled, your weight works for you rather than increasing your chances of joint injury. That may seem totally unrealistic, but a small percent of you out there are seeing these videos and actually making these world changing ideas come to life. Our second pillar is strength through length. Am I stretching right now or am I strengthening? It's actually both at the exact same time. And this can still be super gentle. My mom, for example, had to start this exercise elevated and assisted. She's gradually worked lower. Now she can go much lower without assistance. She's more mobile approaching 70 than she was at 65. So short term, strength in the ground up is a great place to start. But long term, if you are not training strength through length, you better have some good medical insurance. Now Derek and I have trained over a dozen NFL players on average. They've spent over 10 years progressive overload strength training, everything but the lower legs. So we see these freak injuries for areas like the Achilles and the ankle, but mathematically, we're actually asking for that. So sports teams should all have these. But as an individual, you could still get a tip bar. And even right now, while watching this, you could go to a wall, butt against it, legs straight, 25 reps. If you hit failure, just back up a little bit closer. Let us know how it goes. All right, unscripted in HQ with us, as if you were here, gonna do our best. My mom likes the high bars, I like the low bar. We're gonna do a round of everything that we just showed. Derek will give you his best tips along the way. So I'm gonna get a set in here. Yeah, so like you said, Ben is on a low bar, what makes it a little more challenging. The high bar is kind of a little more of uh, an easier gradient. But uh, I'm telling you, the sled is what changed my entire uh, body and athletic career. Before I started really doing a sled, man, I used to have extreme knee pain, hips used to hurt, cardio. So it's really an all-in-one exercise. But so anybody that knows me, you know, I kind of start with like 20 trips a day. So Derek being, brought that culture to ATG where it became an everyday thing, whether you go light or hard. But here's something cool, because I was rehabbing my knees. Derek was getting older. You can go, like I'm going to give 100% effort going backward right now. Pop, pop. You just don't get hurt, you heal harder. Yeah. And when you're injured or you get older, you can't go 100% anymore. This allows you to exert at 100%. So I think we don't even realize the benefits for growth hormone, testosterone, bone density. I think there's so many things because, look, get, what is that? 50 seconds, 60 seconds? Yeah. And the hormones going come 100%. through your legs. Yeah, your hormones are like comes to your legs. So when you strengthen your legs, that's where a lot of the hormones get turned on out because the blood flow is in your legs. So Doing this, like, like Ben said, if you're doing a squat, yeah, that's a great exercise and you get those benefits, but doing a sled, you, you, could, you, you can do it without um, the risk of injury. So that's kind of why I really, really appreciate the sled so much. But let me get my exactly. trips in. Pillar, pillar number one. Derek will get a set. We'll see if he has any usage notes on this. I'll go hit the backward treadmill All while right, he's bet, doing bet, this. Bet. Backward treadmill, you don't get the forward benefit, but you do get the backward benefit with no space. Yeah, another thing too was when I, if you even have like a, a mild injury in your knee or, you, or uh, your body feeling kind of banged up, if you go through a, a really heavy sled session, you usually, you, you walk out of there pain free. So it's kind of like a weird phenomenon that I could come in here, my knee might be a little tense or I might be a little tight, but after getting all that blood flow, I actually kind of walk out of here Feeling great. And we'll look at a tip here on the backward tread. So if you compare this to your treadmill at the gym, the treadmill at the gym on average costs $3,600. This is $600. If you're a member, 20% off that. If you go into the gym and don't turn it on, sometimes the treadmill 
will have some internal resistance. You can't change that resistance, but it might have some. This, I get to vary the resistance and it doesn't get into a rhythm for you. The one at the gym, even if it's off, it just gets going. You still get a good burn, but you're not getting, look at this. I'm having to overcome that momentum every time. So I use this three days a week because on average, that's how much I train my legs or stretch in our programs. And I'm telling you every single time, whether here or whether in my yard, it blows me away. Like every time I do it, because we spent so many years not knowing how to mimic the effects of sled without that space. So hopefully you can see that this takes more work to use. It takes more work to get used to, but it has more potential benefits than the $3,600 ones at the gym. Yeah, simple, man. It's a game changer, man. Just going, just putting this while you're watching TV, while you're reading a book, or while you're doing anything, man. It's just like 0 .0001. You can really change the trajectory of your life, man, by just doing this 20 minutes a day. You really strengthening those, those legs and really building from the ground up, kind of like those, uh, what we were just talking about. But yeah, what's next, B? Underrated benefits as well for the foot and the lower leg. So yeah. in addition to what we showed earlier with the seated calf, seated tib, this is part of our process too. We're loading through the foot structures, foot, 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 uh. every step. A lot of people's plantar fasciitis just disappears as they're trying to fix their knees. Right. Now when it comes to the strength through length, we'll be able to look at a good variety here. I'll have my mom start on the, the pullover. For her as a desk worker for almost 50 years, this is her weakest link or, or stiffest link. So she's starting here and just reaching back. I personally think she's gonna need to have this like in the living room at home and probably do it daily. Mm. I do this once a week. Mm -hmm. I'm on standards program. I've got all these balanced 20 qualities. Derek's the same way. We're yeah. able to maintain this stuff working at it once a week. I think she's gonna have to get on here daily until it feels good. It's also her neck muscles get sore. So when your neck has spent a lot of time here, you don't realize you get really weak in here. Mm -hmm. So just having to support. Now as she gets stronger and is, has, doesn't have discomfort, I would have her lay back further on the bench. Meaning this, like this, how much gravity is there here? As you go back, you have mm -hmm. more and more gravity. Hey, I can do it. There you go. It shouldn't be so abnormal to have mobility in those positions. Right. Mike may have messed up there, but. So I think she needs this gentle touch daily, but think gentle, think Very what, gentle. when you're working strength through length, your key intention is what level feels best. Mm. So if you're really stiff, for example, this won't even feel good. Try to reach back. You get a little loading into it, yeah. lean back, it actually feels a little better. We put a bunch of weight in your hand right now, it's gonna feel worse. So yeah. you're in your mind, what level feel, it's the same with the split squat, these kind of things. What yeah. level feels best? You have the range of motion and you have the load, two different qualities. Yeah. And your body adapts, man. If you, like, if she was to do this um, three rounds just a day, you would notice a really big difference in her mobility. And so a lot of people kind of get scared to do, do certain exercise and get in certain position. But you gotta trust your body. your body. Your body is a really smart machine, man. So it's gonna adapt to whatever stimulus you throw at it. So when I start That's doing this point. today, I might be a little tight, but by the end, I'll probably have my, the weight touching the ground. So, uh, so yeah, I said be nice. So Look at that mobility there. Yeah. This Jeez. is representing the form of the exercise. Full range of motion on the front leg. Back knee doesn't touch the floor. Posture's up. That's it. No bounce out of the bottom. Doing this without a progressive warm-up of weights is probably not going to work for 99.9% .9 of people. Yeah. So, but for me, at this level, that feels good. That's, you train that's what feels best. Let me do this. And it's like, a, it's like a compounding interest. So in the beginning, the more fragile you are, the tougher it is. The more bulletproof you get with this stuff, the easier it is to maintain. I've never even worked on a bridge. I just do this exercise, can do a bridge. Wow. My body... My body can't break down. It's almost like with this, you have a chance, even if you're someone who's naturally more fragile, you can earn yourself a machine compared to a normal mm. human body. Damn. An absolute machine. That's sick, B. But the things I'm doing, I think these should be just normal abilities that people have. Yeah. Definitely not something to just try. It's just for a demonstration purpose. Everything I just showed right there is not an exercise I train. The two exercises in 
this strength through length series give me the ability to do everything I just showed right there. Yeah. Derek's killing the game. He's stronger than me on this. And look at his posture. People have asked me on the basketball court, oh, you training him in this offseason? <laughs> what college do you play for? <laughs> I'm like, Derek's 45. <laughs> Derek's 13 years older than me. People have actually thought he was like a college player because we're often training different athletes. They yeah. don't recognize him in the NBA. So it's like, what college do you play for? <laughs> but look at his posture. So he's actually a little bit stronger than me on this. I'll do. Yeah. This is one, actually one of my favorite exercises. I love all the posture exercises, but the cross benches I have always been one of my favorites. Yeah. And look, we built up using a regular bench, but yeah. we found this to be more comfortable and they were actually making benches like this almost a hundred years ago with excellent results. Yeah. Just not how the gym culture built up, yeah. but we're not using more expensive things actually in this workout. We're actually using a much cheaper system than the modern it work, it work, it commercial work, it work. gym system. Yeah. And you gotta love this like these type exercises, strength through length, because you like you said, you get strength plus flexibility. And just that motion alone, you strengthen your abdominals, your serratus, your lats, your triceps. So everything you get a lot of lot of muscle stimulus all with one exercise. And the flexibility component as well. So a lot of these exercises, man, you don't realize that how much your body, how much stimulus you're actually getting. So yeah, that's sick. So to finish out, looking at an example of a common weak link, the lower legs, and in particular this front shin muscle. Now, my mom, she doesn't have seated calf and seated tib machines at home. Yeah. She tends to use the tib bar, right? So we'll set that up for her and look at that. This is actually one of my favorite exercises. It it's, uh, really strengthens my ankles. My ankles get very flexible, and I like to sprint short distances, so this is important for that. Plus, it really works the tibialis, and I'm not going to show you, but I've got big tibs. Mm, mama with the big tibs. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So um, I'm gradually working up to more weights. But I feel very strong. My lower body is so strong, uh, like rooted into the ground, mm. like a tree trunk mm. with roots. And uh, that sounds philosophical, but that's going to really allow me to go into my 80s, 90s, 100s, mm. 110, 120. Infinite. Uh, with great strength. And that's important to me because I have grandchildren mm. and I'm planning to have great grandchildren. Mm. So there you go. I love it, man. <laughs> tibialis is huge, man, for like running. Because I know I see you running a lot too. Is, uh, I, you feel like the tibialis has helped you with that? Oh, very much so. Yeah. Oh, completely. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Tips. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I've, she's not lying. I, she's Brick <laughs> City. So I hope these tips here have helped you. Derek leads the way for us on longevity. He has his over 40 standards on the app. If you want the over 50 standards, you have to wait another five years <laughs> for Derek. Um, so Derek, any last words on this? Nah, man, I feel like these three pillars are um, the key for longevity. I don't feel like you need much more. Kind of start training from the ground up. Make sure you get strength and length and uh, try not to work through pain. So um, I feel like just understanding these, these three concepts, man, can take you a long way. So appreciate you guys watching. Peace. Much love.